Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we are showcasing an 8,295,000 rand home that boasts 8 bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms and a 4 car garage. This home is situated in the leafy green suburbs of Bryanston, close to all your major shopping centers, Santon City, Foy's Mall, as well as Nickelway Shopping Center. And then if you're looking for upmarket schools, it's got them all. Crawford, as well as Lonial Schools, to name a few. So join me as we tour this incredible mega mansion. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Riveros. Welcome home. Now this home is a mega mansion in all senses of the word. We've got over one kilometer squared of under roof floor space, which leaves a lot to cover. So coming through this entry hall, you find yourself in this formal dining room area. A couple of really cool things here. One, behind me we've got the curtains closed, but also beautiful window there for you to look out onto the massive green grounds that we're gonna be showing you in a moment. But right over here, I think it fits any single dining room area, specifically these former ones and this beautiful natural stone fireplace thrown right in here, crackling fireplace, beautiful meals, really a nice place to be. But coming through these two doors, we find ourselves on opposite ends of a bar area. This bar area has access not only to the dining room area, but also your lounge area, your informal sitting room area, as well as another dining room area. So I think it is beautifully situated to cater for all of the different areas in a home this big. We've got down lighting and stunning natural stone countertops as well. These stone countertops continue in the kitchen, which is right through that door, but plenty of under counter storage, space for appliances, and also your one prep sink over there with an adjustable nozzle for the tap. And this bar extends across so you can put seating all the way in here, tucked in nicely. Yeah, we've got your lounge area again. Really, really nice down lighting. Beautiful large tiles making the space feel even more open and airy. Specifically since it's a nice light color, so I really do like that. Down lighting, staircase over here, natural wood as well. And this wood, you should see the continuation of this design element in the rooms. You've got real raw wood flooring. Really, really nice, I do like it. Windows looking out to the back of the home, but also leading in a lot of natural light. And this doorway over here leading off into your staff quarters as well as it giving you access to your four car garage. So you know, when parking your car, you're literally coming straight through this door into your house and then into your kitchen. No need to worry about the elements. Against the wall right over here, you can see all of your security elements, your air conditioning, as well as your smart home access controls there. And here we are in one of the nicest sunrooms I think I've seen in a while, and specifically in Bryanston. This sunroom also has another feature wall containing a closed off smokeless fireplace. You can see this window here. You can light up a night fire, a nice fire, not worry about that smoke penetrating into this large open area here. We've got not one, not two, but three skylights. These skylights are actually windows that you'll notice on the upstairs veranda and that lets in even more natural light making this feel very very airy but also it is quite spacious i must admit they've done so well with the indoor outdoor living plan in this home even though it is more of a farm style slash home spun mansion it still does feel very airy not dark at all this is your second dining room area again really cool lighting but i love these doors spanning the whole length of the room all of them opening up balcony you can look over out onto your parkade or you can look over out onto that beautiful blue pool over there. The grounds outside are absolutely massive. Then one fireplace and two fireplaces isn't enough. You've got your bra area right here opening these doors. You don't need to worry about having to brave the elements either. You can have a nice South African tradition right over there. And then if we come to this section over here, I generally say no mansion is complete without a walk-in closet, but I have to take that back. All those episodes, I think I was lying because no mansion is complete without your very own wine cellar. Let's go down the stairs and take a quick look at it. And coming down this flight of stairs, we finally find ourselves in this underground wine cellar, but it's not really underground. And that I think is one of the coolest features of it because if I come around here, you can see these little porthole windows actually looking almost eye level onto your parquet. So as you peek out the ground of your parquet is right here. 
can take a look at who's coming to visit and in my case who's potentially coming to steal all of your wine bottles I promise you all these shelves were full before I got here then if we talk about some other features here we've got plug point space for under counter storage as well as under counter appliances so if you'd like to refrigerate your drinks and you don't want to drink them room temperature it is sorted another quite cool feature is this right over here you've got inbuilt speakers in the roof so you can pump some ambience in here while you sip your fancy wine and enjoy your 8 million rand home but the wine cellar is now complete it's time to venture back upstairs take a look at this incredible kitchen and then let's journey across the rest of the home and here we are all the way back into the lounge area and this time we're going to address what is up this staircase because there's even more to see upstairs We've got a big open area here, an area that you can really do with as you see fit. Right now, it has been perfectly customized for a TV room or your very own cinema room. We've got a server rack over here, lighting running the length of both the walls, and then TV as well as mounting point for your projector there. Nice and spacious, you can throw in some more couches, you can throw in some sofas, maybe some bean bags, make it even more cozy. Over here, we've got another lounge area, maybe you don't want the cinema. Maybe this time you'd like to sit down, relax and just enjoy TV or turn this into an office. Maybe an upstairs pajama lounge. You've got all the space over here with not one but two exits leading out to your veranda which we're going to show you in a moment. But leading down this passage are more bedrooms. Let's take a look. Coming down that passageway you are greeted with a bedroom on the left and right. Both of them with no cupboards so they can make perfect play areas, office areas or because of the size of the two you could easily put in freestanding cupboards all of these bedrooms do come with built-in speakers in the ceiling if you've got a ceiling in them otherwise you've got the farm style bedrooms that are just as beautiful with the lattice work running across the ceiling down lighting air conditioning as well as as i did mention those down firing speakers the last bedroom located in this section mirrors that latticing the farm style element really beautiful lots of light streaming in from the garden area as well as a recessed nook for those freestanding cupboards that i did mention all of these three bedrooms are serviced by a bathroom located in the corner this time another one of those free standing beautiful jacuzzi baths you've got a walk-in shower as well as a single vanity and toilet and then two cantilevered windows opening outwards looking down onto the back side of the home and now it's time to talk kitchen meal prep or entertainment this kitchen has it all so you can see the massive size we've got beautiful center island under counter storage and a continuation of that really nice natural stone and within the stone you can see all these veins of crystal or quartz beautiful countertops Yeah, we are right back to where we started that being the formal dining room area this being your kitchen so if you're entertaining right there it's out 
and right into your dining room. If your guests do need the bathroom, right over here is your guest bathroom. You've got a single vanity, a walk-in shower, as well as toilet storage space over there. Now a long hallway that has openings, these beautiful doors opening out onto an outside patio that will serve all the bedrooms over here. Our first bedroom is right over here. You've got your cupboard space and plenty, plenty of space for your beds. And over here is its twin. Both of them have got doors that open outwards onto your beautiful green grounds and both of them do have their very own cupboard space. And on my left is the bathroom that will serve these two and two bedrooms do require a king size bathroom. And here it is, you've got cupboards over here for all of your linens, a massive jacuzzi bath sunken into this raised platform. Really nice windows that are privacy shaded but letting a lot of natural light, a heated towel rack, your single vanity and if you do need it you've got your shower right over there with the toilet behind me. But now it's time for us to talk about the king suite that's located downstairs and it is right over here. It's very own not only access to the garden but your very own outside I'd say personal patio. Walking through this would be your sleeping area, bed here, plenty of space, beautiful live brick featured wall and then not one but two ways to access the outside. Then if you're looking for your third way to access your very own private garden, that would be right over here. And you know how much I love a jacuzzi, so your very own jacuzzi all walled off for privacy. There's a door there for you to get out to your garden if you need, but space here for you to have a little breakfast nook. And then if you'd want to shower off outside, not one, but two of your very own outdoor showers. You've got this gigantic tree right over here, all of this greenery. It is a stunning outdoor area and even space for your very own personal fountain. How's that for a nice touch? But coming back into this master suite, as I did mention, master suites need to have their very own walk-in closet and yours is right over here. You've got a closet that spreads off to the right as well as the left, cupboard space all over there, cupboard space over here and right over here is this place for you to get changed with a nice beautiful mirror. And there we have it, we are outside on this outdoor veranda that pretty much every single one of the bedrooms as well as these two living areas sits and opens out onto this outside veranda looking out onto your beautiful luscious green garden as well as that incredible pool. So if you'd like to be the next owner of this incredible home, what I'd like you to do is contact Lenka. All of their details are on screen right now as well as in the description of this video and make an offer to purchase or even set up an appointment to come view this masterpiece yourself. But from myself, Chad Rivera's the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in every Friday at 8 p.m. and we will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.